And uh, fourthly, mm, fourthly, and uh, I also uh, introduced a few uh, famous Buddhist scholars' texts, which uh, contain natural science writing to uh, writing to the class. The great example of this is uh, uh, Chu Xing Denju. Chu Xing Denju, which me uh, is we call it, you know, the commentary on the water and the tree, and. Uh, this is you know one of the um, like a, one of the you know great you know the Tibetan scholar and uh, um, uh, the Bhutan Denver Dreamy in the 18th century. So he wrote this in in, in its 18th century. I think this text can offer a particular accessible um, door for the you know getting student to begin thinking about science. It also gives me a, a important teaching tool for the uh, educating uh, students about the science and the Tibetan language. Also brings, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, between, con uh, the connect between, uh, the between, like, you know, Tibetan language class and uh, my, my biology class. Because uh, also this, you know, Chushin Denji will be taught in, you know, Tibetan language class. So when the students study those, you know, uh, like, uh, you know, the text in the Tibetan class, Tibetan language class, then automatically they can think about, oh, also there's like, a, uh, biology terminology and also biology concepts in those, you know, the, uh, the, the, the text. This is my method. Then I always, you know, assign research homework to related to their uh, surrounding instead of, you know, direct from the book. For example, I ask my student to keep a journal of the flower, which I mentioned before. So also it, you know, uh, helped me, you know, like a, a lot. Here I would like to, you know, uh, clarify that as uh, for the other Tibetan class, it was impossible to them to express this uh, in Chinese language. Uh, lastly, as for the, uh, oh, also maybe I will show this is the in English, is about you know, the structure of the flower. This is uh, also um, about the you know, monocots and uh, dipots in the you know, Tibetan. What, um, this is you know, my notes I did you know, get in the back of you know, Tibet. And uh, this is in the English. So basically, we have those terminologies. Mm -hmm. um, lastly, I, uh, as for the, this um, pilot class, did not have other resources. So, uh, so many of the um, terms could not pro um, provide it just from the textbook. So I try to look for the uh, substitute terms from the traditional Tibetan medical texts and Buddhist texts. Uh, and uh, sometimes I had to create my own terms based on the scientific definition. Uh, then uh, benefits of the learning the you know, subject in Tibetan language, and gain the conceptual you know, abilities, and uh, also easy to understand the you know, content of the Tibetan textbook, interest in learning the subject. More often, they as feel like a confidence in the subject. Those are the, you know, the benefit to the you know, student more adaptable in the two different language at a high level, like myself. In the uh, early, early age, I learned you know, Tibetan and also with the Chinese, but you know, the uh, Tibetan language as I, you know, the medium, and later then Chinese language become like you know, the uh, medium. But it helped me you know, the, you know, between Chinese language and the Tibetan language. And deep con connection to the, their own uh, ancestral in you know, the context of the you know, the science subject, better performing in the classes, and uh, also score higher for the standard exams and uh, tests. This is a, so. I would like to show uh, these you know, three classes uh, final exam result when I you know, uh, gave in, uh, in back to you know, 1991, and uh, so. Each class has, you know, total, they have another 40 students. And the Tibetan pilot class, and the Chinese student class, and the Tibetan student class. And uh, the differences when you teach in Tibetan, you know, the, the, the science in Tibetan language is, as you can see, like a student grade, between 100 to 90 to 100. In the pilot class, there's a five Tibetan students get to, you know, this you know, grade, and in Chinese, these are all Chinese students, but they, you know, using their mother tongue like Chinese to finish. If the exam is exactly same, all the, you know, the, the exam paper is exactly same. The differences I just translate into Tibetan or from Tibetan to in, uh, in Chinese. But in the Tibetan student class, there's zero. 
There's no student can get the grade between 90 to 100. So this is a big, big difference, you know, how the you know, students can understand you know, the concept or you know, understand the classes. And then the between grade nine, uh, 60 to 89, and uh, the pilot class is 26, and the Chinese class is 25, and the Tibetan student class are 22. Even though you can even even though you can see here like there are 22 students in the between like uh, uh, 60 to 1989, uh, but most you know like a student in you know this you know um, is on the, in the 60s or few in 70s. And uh, then the last one the below 15 59 in you know in in China because you know the the past grade is 60. So below 59. In uh, Tibet pilot class has a nine, and the Chinese student uh, class has seven. But in Tibetan student, like in the you know, taught in Chinese language, it has eighteen. So through this you know, chart, you can see how the you know, Tibetan student performance in the, you know their mother tongue language or in Chinese language. So this is the you know the uh, one of the, my uh, the uh, test. Then the, about the you know, challenges about this, that in this morning, you know, the Mr. Shou Tendu in this morning, he uh, you know, talked more, uh, he, he did, you know, he did, you know, talk on this, you know. So basically, most in Tibetan area, I think the challenges are same. Uh, yeah, basically, it's, you know, the same uh, the challenges. So, uh, I won't go specific on this, and but if you have any uh, question about those, and uh, then I would like to you know try to answer. And the conclusion uh, in Tibetan language can serve as a medium of the instruction in sciences. In short, it is important to realize the uh, significance of the Tibetan language to use of the language of the instruction for Tibetan students. The Tibetan language itself is a very rich language because it has already developed its own 10 major subject studies. As you know, we have 10 major subjects in Tibetan. So also in those 10 major subjects, also sometimes they, they relate, a lot of them related to the, you know, some of the, um, like in, um, uh, some of the, you know, the uh, uh, science, you know, uh, uh, knowledge and um, science knowledge. And uh, especially Tibetan Buddhist uh, terminology and its concept are considered one of the well best in the field. So uh, what I believe, uh, Tibetan language has very, because I'm saying this, and the Tibetan language has like, you know, they can explain the, you know, the, how, the, the all in the Buddhist terminology in, in Tibetan language. So I really strongly believe Tibetan language also can do well in the you know um, the science too terminology. So mm, this is my talk today. So thank you very much. <laughs>